Why is your hair turned white? Because it makes me look more badass. So why have your nails turned black? Because it makes me look fabulous! I am once again growing out my facial hair. Is it because I want to? Absolutely fucking not. Do I look like someone who would look better with a beard? It's because I have a laser hair removal appointment this weekend where they're gonna go one by one to all the individual hair follicles on my face and with a laser and a needle, destroy them. And in order for them to see what they're doing, I need to first grow out the facial hair. So you and I are both gonna have to accept the fact that I'm going to be getting uglier and uglier over the next 72 hours. Trust me, I'm not happy about it either. But maybe instead of commenting on it, you can be nice and show some understanding because that would make my life a lot better. I really appreciate it. I love you. Bye. You know, you guys are really giving off a negative human energy. We prefer to take our darkness somewhere else, per se. All right, Count Fagula, you go do that. She even asked me for the time. No way. Way. <laughs> well, gender euphoria is so fucking stupid. I, it is so rancid. Like, I I think I look... Don't look at my chocolates. I think I look so hot right now when I'm just given, like, the fucking Arthur me. <laughs> That's how I know I'm not a woman, right? Because I look like your dad when he's about to, like, give you the talk. And I feel... Like, I imagine how women feel, like, in a piece of lingerie. I feel so sexy right now. I'm sick. I'm sick in the head. The fucking English teacher that you had a crush on in high school. Oh, I think that's it. Now look at my bare socks. Or do, I don't know. Wait. Wait, I have a vest. Don't shut up. I'm sorry, but I look so good. Do you know what it's giving? Do you know what it's giving? No, Joe, we gotta have it out. No. I've loved, loved you since ever the first since day I met you, Joe. I can't help it. it. You know how I made a video a while ago that says, do we want to date Timothy Chalamet or just look like him? I think I've answered that question, and it's a BOFA situation. <laughs> I look so pretentious. I look like I'm susceptible to dysentery. Oh, I look like the kid who would like bring a briefcase to school. <laughs> like, I'm here to gaslight your girlfriends. No! I'll have a slow burn romance with you. I will never disappoint you. I, I yes, I will. <laughs> I will talk to your father and impress him. I'll give him a nice firm handshake and then make pie with your mother. This is... This is the ideal. Wait, I need like a stack of books. <laughs> oh, hey. Didn't see it. <laughs> Me? I read. It's mostly poetry. Uh <laughs> Hide your puffy shirts and hide your girlfriends, because I'm coming for all of them. Chris, K-R-I-S, is what you can call me on the internet. Are you gonna um, get angry when people use C-H? I don't really care. <laughs> I mean, you can. It'll be wrong. So. Are you gonna feel like people are dead naming you? Number one, I can't be audibly dead named, so that's pretty True. cool. True. It's pretty cool. It's a pretty, mm. pretty big clutch. Mm. Uh, number two, I mean, like I said, I, I have no shame with, like, who I was. I, I think it's so cool and interesting that it's like I was Chris with a C-H, and then I put that to rest, and now I can finally be Chris with a K. I cannot believe, as a transgender person, I've only just now learned about the people that think all celebrities are trans. I've never fucking heard of that. But when I learned, I started fucking laughing, dude. Because, like, what's what's the point? What's the end goal, you know? Like, let's say we prove that every single celebrity has been secretly trans this whole time. Well, then what? Well, now the mystery's over. It's not fun anymore. It's like if we actually discovered Bigfoot, like we finally fucking found him, and then, like, that's it. You just fucking found Bigfoot. Well, there's like, it's not fun anymore, you know? He's not even out there anymore. We already fucking know about him. Yeah, and all the celebrities are trans. Every single celebrity out there is secretly trans. And that's my conspiracy theory. Like, okay, and what's the conspiracy solution? What is it? 
if they're all fucking trans, what are you going to do after that? Like, just know, just know that they, I don't understand. What's, what, we need a goal. She even asked me for the time. No way. Way. <laughs> I don't know. I think it was like a God-given gift to be gay. Give me a pizza with extra cheese. Extra cheese. And hold the tomato sauce. Hold the tomato sauce. And hold the crust. Hold the crust? Hey, Jimmy, give me a cheese with not... Not... And remember, kids, the next time that somebody tells you the government wouldn't do that, oh, yes, they would. I've never done anything like this before. Okay. Calm down. Look, I'm been... not a cop. I'm not a cop. Everybody's falling in love and I'm falling behind. So what? Yes, so what if he's the devil, Rick? At least the devil has a job. At least he's active in the community. Honey, it was ruined when she bought it. Yeah. Um, what if those who get lost in the Bermuda Triangle are time traveling? What if? <laughs> Less with marijuana. Feel it in my balls, man. I have to be very clear about this. Transgenderism, especially in kids, is a mental health disorder. No, your mom don't get it, and your dad don't get it, Uncle John don't get it. And you can't tell grandma cause her heart can't take it And she might not make it They say don't dare, don't you even go there Cutting off your long hair, you do as you're told Till you wake up, go put on your makeup This is just a phase you're gonna outgrow Something wrong in the village, the village Skip to the good part. You've arrived at your destination. Settling down, but I blacked out at brunch. I swear 16 was yesterday. Now I'm closer to 28. I'm Hi, I got top surgery about four months ago, and some people have reached out to ask me some questions, so I thought I'd answer some here. Keep in mind, I live in Western Australia, so not everything I say will apply to everyone watching. 
My surgeon was Dr. Timothy Hewitt. I believe he's the only surgeon in Western Australia that does this type of surgery. However, his results are really good, so I probably would have picked him anyway. Because he's the only person, his processing time is really long. Last year in January, I made my consultation appointment for this year in February. But once I was in, I was able to get my surgery in May. The only documentation I needed was a referral from our doctor and a letter of support from a mental health practitioner. Surgery itself was about two hours long and an overnight hospital stay and I only had drains in while I was in hospital. The whole surgery cost me about six grand. Um, my insurance was able to cover my hospital stay and most of my anaesthetist as well as a tiny part of the surgery itself. What do you call an anonymous person saying random things about children on the internet as a way to hurt them? Maybe someone that's starved for attention? Maybe. I don't know. I have deep empathy for transgender people because they have increasingly become the vicious targets of hate by some Christians, despite no mention of transgenderism in scripture. Passages of the man-woman binary like Genesis 127 and Mark 10.8 are used as proof, but it's no such thing. Deuteronomy 22.5 about men's and women's garments has grossly been misused out of context to harm trans people. The fact is, is that gender is far less binary and more fluid in the Hebrew Bible than most people know. The Jewish Mishnah describes up to six genders, some biologically intersex, some by choice with latitude for people's self-identification. The strict binary we have comes from the hypermasculinity of 20th century Christianity and the masculine ideal of authoritarians. People say lots of things about the Bible that aren't really there. When she bought it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Honey, it was ruined when she bought it. Mm -hmm. Yeah.